Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. We are back with the bang and as mentioned in the last episode, we are going to show you the tutorial of editing breakdown of cocktail B-roll. So let's open Premiere Pro. And this is where I edit all my videos and also my favorite editing software. So without any further delay, let's have a sneak peek through my timeline. Before that, let's watch the video once again. So guys, first of all let me say, this is not complicated as it look and down here this orange track indicate our background music which I downloaded from Epidemic Sounds. The violet color is my impact sounds and the purple color is my foley sounds and the bushes. And these clips are the main track where I assemble most of the footages. And for this sequence, I color graded with Daniel Schiffer's Vintage Slut Pack. I'll put the link in the description, you can have a look. Now above that, we have adjustment layers, overlays, text layers and at last, the very top, we have one single adjustment layer containing the letterbox aka Cinemascope. So let's start from the beginning and see each effect I added in detail. In the first clip, I added speed ramp to show up a slowdown process so that all those jerks I got while shooting sprite in full length hides in and I get better result. And above the layer, I added some text layer showing the name of the ingredients and placed it on each side and changed the blend mode to color dots only to the text on the left side. On the next clip, I added directional blur at the beginning of the clip to get that smooth transition and, the, and at the end of the same clip, I mask out that black area and put our next clip under it. Since my background is white, I got a smooth and seamless transition here. Moving into the next clip. Here also I added speed ramp, I fasten it up till his hands reaches the lemon and after that the clip goes by its regular speed. And here I added a zoom in transition to the close up shot of the glass. And here he spins the knife in a slow fashion way and it looks a bit awkward and to hide that moment I added a film burn effect and put it on top of that layer and change the blend mode to screen. And here I added some particles when he dropped the job jellies and put a low pass effect to the background music to get more concentration to the sound effect of the jellies being dropped and a film burn effect to hide that jumping to the next shot. And here I masked out that black area at the end of the clip like I did in the first shot as a transition for our next shot. guys enjoyed the video needless to say like share subscribe and comment in the comment section and hit the bell icon to get notifications and we'll be back with something very exciting next week